today your boy is going to be showing you one of the best build that you can ever find in the game right now this is for the solo players the solo players who have been wanting to find something that breaks and makes the game in a way of you being a solo without you being in any any kind of like I don't know some people want to play the game slow and take it easy for themselves and this build is really geared towards capturing everything and everything that you agents want to do in the game um, covering heroic contents no problem look no further but this build um, let's go through the build the build is pretty much um, based on scaled based on survivability and based on you completing the whole challenge that you set for yourself i'm that kind of guy i want to be able to complete and achieve the most difficult contents that might exist in the game and if you want to be that kind of person who want to play the heroic contents and complete it without you going down i mean flawless this is the build you need right now i know tu6 is going to be coming i know tu6 is also called episode 2 where so many things are going to be changing but this build is still going to be viable this build is even going to get better in tu6 and if you want any build better based on their btsu gloves and based on you surviving look no further this is the build you find yourself at the right place and let's go through this build with the survive um with the specialization you obviously want to go with the survivalist because the survivalist provide you with so many utility that no other specialization here will be able to give you what it, you, you you pretty much want to find the synergy in the build and what makes this build awesome is all the little little details that went into putting every little thing together and please you need all these things to make the build work and the survivalist is the, the first thing that you want to start with the survivalist i will explain to you later when i get to the gloves and how you need to play um, this game. The primary weapon is going to be the, the P416G3 and on this one I have 16.2k um, damage. I know it might not be the best damage. I'm looking for the Eagle Bearer. The Eagle Bearer will make this build awesome but I don't have it right now so um, I'm using the P416G3 and even with this P416G3 you need these talents. I know the Eagle Bearer wouldn't provide me with these talents but the G3, um, the G, the G3 variant of the P416 is what you need. Um, the talents that you're gonna need on this gun is gonna be perpetuation. Perpetuation, trust me, guys, don't sleep on this uh, on this talent. Is gonna grant you five skill duration ammo and charges to the next skill, which can be maxed up to ten. So if you max this up to ten, guess what you're doing. 50% skill duration, ammo and charges. And who doesn't want that? This build is based on skills and perpetuation is what you need. You need Allegro or any talent that will fill your third slot. But the last slot, what you need on it is gonna be recharge. Recharge, boys, is the best talent for any skill build on any gun. Um, because with recharge, whenever you deploy your skill, you get 25% duration, charges and ammo. It means that if you have seeker mines, the seeker mines is gonna, you know, if you only have four seeker mines, it might probably be six because um, 25%. You, you, it might be five. I'm um, sorry, my math. <laughs> it might be five, but you know, you got one extra seeker mine for just using recharge. And if you have six, you do the math for yourself. And the way that I have this gun modded is that on the muzzle, I have 5% damage to elites. Um, I have 5% critical hit chance. You, trust me guys, you can mount more of this to your own preference. Um, but the talents and the things that I'm gonna say is really necessary for the build is what you need to be paying attention to. Um, you also need the mag to be 20 rounds. If you don't know, today, um, today that I'm talking to you, this mag is being is unsold at the um, base of operation, which is pretty much the White House. Um, if you go to the the mod um, seller, you're gonna find the 20 percent, the 20 plus 20 um, rounds. And I know the you guys have been looking for this round. And the god, the god above, 
I mean the developers gave us this today so pretty much you go over there and uh, pick this up and boys you are gonna love it if you don't have it by far and secondly you want to be using the nemesis the nemesis is really gonna be your 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 like your I don't know the best gun that you can find for this build um, pretty much I was using um, I was using the model 700 because I have spike on it and I have accuracy and rooted these are all really needed and really important and really necessary talents um, for any skill build but to me I found the nemesis to be way better because whenever I find myself having all those heavies and clearing ads the nemesis does a really good job in just one shotting people in the head and stuff like that and I would never trade the nemesis for anything right now unless there's something better that I can find um, I know no nobody talk about the pistols but in this um, build you need a pistol because you need in rhythm on the pistol in rhythm is going to give you 5% chance to reset your cooldowns so um, even though I have a crazy amount of um, skill haste and my skill cooldown is really low um, in rhythm why not you know why not get 5% chance to reset your cooldowns anytime and, um, at every 60 seconds you know you kill an enemy you get your skill back who doesn't want that right um, let's let's go through the build and you you're gonna see you're gonna see what I mean by having all these things um, pretty much you need three gila right now that is how I have it I have one providence and I have one ongoing directive and the BTSU gloss um, let's go through the max the mask is going to be a provenant defense mask and this is going to give you 10 percent skill power um, this build is pretty much focused on skill power um, the cap for skill power is 3000 and but you don't need 3000 um, let's start with a 10 percent of it and you also need health you can put damage to elite whatever that you want over there but i i find health to be more important because the build is based on you being survival you've been survival being your survivability going up up high so you need a little bit of health um, you also need to have skill power on here and you need empowered and if you guys don't know empowered currently give you 10 percent skill power but in episode 2 which is going to be the tu6 you're going to be getting 20 percent skill power so this build is still going to keep getting better it's going to keep getting better and um, in the future if i even get 20 percent you can roll the skill power for something like skill haste you know put a, a massive amount of skill haste over there and boom you got yourself a better build and what makes the build like even more crazier um, for your survivability look no further than unbreakable I know most people have been talking about black sucker and all of that forget about black sucker if you want to be a solo player what you need is unbreakable if you ever played a division one um, this build is gonna sit in between nomad and um, tacticians build because you pretty much using your skills and you still have a second life there is no talent in the game right now that is going to give you another health bar there's no talent and this is what makes the build even awesome um, currently I have it modded for 19.5 um, armor percent armor I can increase that to 25 I have like 25 on other um, you know things that I can improve upon it but this build is no means by far my mid master or anything you this is going to be your template for you guys to um, look on this build and um, if you're a solo player man you find yourself at the right time and at the right channel right now so you need um, I also have 16k ammo on it which even makes my ammo goes up high as you can see right now I have 400k ammo and whenever unbreakable procs i'm gonna get 70 um 70 percent back which is more than 300k guys and i don't know anything in the game right now that is going to give you that um what i what i have on the mods um in the mods i have one utility and you need this you need this chest piece guys it's called the iguana who back i don't know if i'm saying it right but um you need this chest piece it's going to give you two blue stats one red stat and you can put two blues and one yellow on it 
Um, you need your yellows to be up high because the BTSU gloves, up to you guys, if you don't know about the BTSU gloves, I'm going to explain when I get right there. But I have to um, have one utility mod on here and I need better mods to focus on the kind of skills that I use. But this is what I have right now. And like I keep saying, this build can always be improved. I have two defensive mods on there, which is pretty much focused on total armor. Um, you need total armor. Trust me, guys. I have 4% on here and 3.5% on here, which is making my armor go all the way to um, 400k. And um, the Gila God also gave me 5% total armor. So, you know, you know, you know where this build is going. Um, all about survivability. Let's move on to the holster. The holster, I don't see any holster which is better than using the ongoing directive holster right now because it gives you too much utility than any holster um, that I've seen so far. Um, what this holster is going to give you is that you can find, if you can find an ongo ongoing directive with two yellows, that is your god row right there. You need two yellows and then you can put two um, utility mods in there. And man, over here you're getting four yellows, which is 40% increase in damage and increase in skill power whenever your BTSU gloves prop. And um, for the backpack, I'm also using the Gila Guide. Um, so this one is gonna give me 20% hazard protection. Um, what you need on here is that you need one blue stat, or if you can find one with two blue stat with one yellow stat, that would be awesome. But currently, I, I like I keep saying, this build is meant to be improved and worked on, and this is gonna be a template for you guys. Um, as you can see, I've only recalibrated to 63%, and that is that is translated into 515 skill power. So it means that this skill power can be pushed all the way to a thousand, and man, that's gonna make this build like awesome. Um, I have Harden on here, and if you don't know, Harden is getting a buff in TU6. It's gonna be 20% armor, so my armor is even gonna get better. And what you need on here is tech support. I, I, I like to use tech support. I know there's other talent that other people like to run whenever they run um, skill build and that is called skilled. And that is gonna give you 25% um, chance to reset your cooldowns. But I don't need that. I have in rhythm on my pistol. I shall show you guys. It's 5%, but you know, 5% goes a long way. You don't need in rhythm. You, what you need right now is tech support. What test support is going to provide you is that it's going to give you 25 skill damage for 10 seconds, guys. 25% skill damage if your skill kills an enemy for 10 seconds. And what, how I have it modded right here is that I have an offensive mod, which is giving me 2% weapon damage. Uh, you can put anything that you want over there. And I have um, modded for the percentage armor. As I keep telling you, you need better percentage armor. If I have 4% right now, my armor is going to go up. So this build is, is all in, in the rule of getting better. Um, let's move on to the gloves. And what makes this build shine is this exotic BTSU data gloves. Um, they, if you don't know about this data gloves, I don't know. But let me explain to you right now. Um, this 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 can be found from playing one of the missions um you know uh, you know i know there's so many youtube videos that is on there that explains this globe better but let me do my best to explain it uh, i says that skills that apply status effect gain 50 percent status effect duration and 50 percent skill haste so whenever you use um like you know the skill that applies to status effect you get 50 percent duration and 50 percent skill haste self explanatory um, if you move on to the second talent, it's called energy infusion. Whenever you apply status effects, your, your glove becomes infused for at least 60 seconds. So for one minute, you know that your glove is going to, the, the glove is going to turn red. And uh, while you're infu infused, you get 10% skill damage, 10% skill healing and, um, and repair and 10% skill duration for every yellow stats you have so nine multiplied by ten guys is uh 90. i need it to be a hundred but that is what i have right now that's what i'm saying you can finish with this build you know it's a skill build it takes skills you have to you know think about everything and what you're doing and when and what you know so 90 percent by far is is the best that i can do um you can use this build for any anything that you you want to do um specific 
specifically for solo content look low further than this build um, the large challenge on the BTSU glove is called charge plus proxies whenever you throw a skill 1.2 seconds at that landing it creates an explosion applying the infused effect affected um, enemies within six meters so you don't want to be throwing your skills next to you because it might kill you it will kill you guys it will kill you um, I have to land it the hard way, but it will surely kill you. So not, never put your skills next to you. Find a way to throw it out there. And enemies affected by this infused effect takes effect takes 50% more damage from your skills. You know, so man, it's all about the damage and you playing wise. And why the BTSU glove is even gonna make it even better is that you can put two yellow stats on there and one blue stat. So um, as you can see right now, this is 3.11.9 build. I really wanted to get it to like 2.11.10 or something like that. 3.11.10 if I can, that will even make it shine. But the last piece that you know, you have to get for this build to make this build work is gonna be another killer guide. And the main reason for this killer guide is not for the pulse skill power because obviously I'm not using any pulse, but for the two blue stats that you are gonna put on there. This blue stat is gonna make you um, able to unlock the unbreakable talent, which requires 11 um, blue stats. And man, guys, this build is just amazing. What you need on here is patience and also need um, total ammo. I have 11% uh, rolled on here. I know the, the, uh, the best you can get is 12% right now, but 11%. 0.5 is just like 0.5 away from being a gold row. Um, patience is what you need. Patience is going to be a form of healing in a way because if you've been in, a, in, in cover for five seconds, your armor is going to start repairing 5% every second. Guys, every second, 5% of your armor is going to be repaired. And I didn't even talk about the unbreakable. After, after, um, after you get you know your nomad or your unbreakable prop I, i'll call it nomad because i still you know after you have your, your nomad prop um for seven seconds if you use any med kits it's not consumed so you always have med kits um on you and hey man i don't know if you it's if it's all about survivability you look no further this build is going to give you all that you need to survive in any heroic mission trust me guys in any heroic missions and at the end of the video, I'm just going to leave a little section of me completing one hero mission um, solo. And this is not to just trick you guys. And, and I'm also going to leave another video, the whole video of me playing through it, um, spotless, um, no depths, or uh, flawless as you want to call it. And um, you're going to see how this build um, works and how I can put it to play. Um, let's go to over the skills. The skills, so this is how the build is going to work. You're going to start with your crossbow. Your crossbow is going to um, blow off and set your BTSU gloves on, um, you turn it on to be infused, and then you throw your skills. So the skills that I'm using right now is going to be the turret, the good old turret. I love this turret. I know you can go with any skill that you want to go. If you want to be a healer, you can probably run the revival hide. And trust me, your heels are gonna be like crazy if you if you if you want to run um, this build to just be a healer. You know, you you just be the ultimate healer. If you guys want to see me using this build as a healer, um, drop a comment in the section below, and I will surely bring you that build. Um, if you have any way that you want me to help to um, improve this build, just leave your comments in the section below. And um, this turret hits for 28k, man, guys. 28k this turret is for. Um, let's move on to the class to seeker mines. Um, I like to use a class to seeker mines, and I know that I don't have any explosive damage on here, but I'm able to hit for sometimes close to a million with damage um, when my BTSU gloves props. And uh, this seeker mine comes back every 13 seconds. Um, you know, I don't have the best. Um, mods on this second mine right now I'm still looking for best mods but um, trust me you really gonna go through the content with no problems at all so this is the build that I wanted to show you guys today this is solely for your solo build 
kind of guy and if you even want to run it in a group and be the ultimate healer uh, it's, it's kind of like the most rounded kind of like build that you can have right now in the current um, edition or the current state of the game um, thank you guys for your audience um, you guys have been amazing and um, thank you guys for all your support um, thank you for staying with me through all this time um, and welcome to quest games um, thank you if you have any comment leave it in the section below um, as always hit the like button subscribe um, hit the bell icon for future videos I have so many builds um, that I want to show you guys I have the um, I have my ultimate aces and eights builds that I'm that I'm currently using right now for the raid is I have so many raid builds I have um, some LMG builds you know I have so many builds that uh, you guys might love and uh, if you have anything that you want to add to this content uh, if you want me to bring you any news anything um, that you guys might be missing in the game um, just leave a comment and as usual thank you for your audience uh, thank you for being attentive and your boy is out